So we've got our 4K monitor and we're running two sessions side by side. Uh, what we can uh, immediately see is that whatever's happening on the left, it's just not displaying the smoothness on that fire burning as we can see it on the right hand. Absolutely. Yeah, and uh, you know, we'll get into the instrumentation in the middle in a second when we zoom in. But yes, we're seeing about uh, four or five frames per second on the left and around the 20s on the right, which makes it a really nice uh, video. Very interactive, real time. Yep. Uh, now, you mentioned interactivity. Let's get our hands in it. So mm -hmm. I'm going to grab the mouse. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and there. grab this piece and try to spin it around. Oh, so that's like and a still picture. You know, it's going yeah. one by one. Not what would you want to do it. Let's try it on the left. And that was very smooth. Very yeah. smooth. Again, the mouse I, is over here. So, so what are we looking at on the left side? So the left. What do we have on the left? The left have, uh, over here. We got a, a VMware Horizon View 6.2, and wow. uh, we could see that it, you know, it it's not smooth. The fact that the 3D model kind of disappears when you rotate is because we're not using a GPU on this. Uh, but you could definitely see that it just it's very jerky same thing we were seeing with the video we can so also feel it jerky and it loses the detail it loses it goes yeah. into the wireframe mode and you know here the detail might go away as well if I spin too much we don't have a GPU so you can't ask too much from the software uh, rasterizer right. but the interactivity is definitely there we yeah. so let's zoom in and uh, take a couple of a look at a couple of parameters so again, on the left, we still have our uh, VMware Horizon view. And what we can see is that as far as bandwidth is concerned, uh, we're using just about the same, mm -hmm. but the user experience is completely different. So same bandwidth, less user experience, but on the bottom, you know, there's, there's always a price. You know, you can't uh, eat your lunch and have it too. Uh, so uh, Zen Desktop does require a little bit more CPU on... To get on, that real-time exactly. and the higher FPS. Yep. The other thing we wanted to show is I'm going to pull in our task manager from our client. And what we can see here is that exactly running the same thing, and by the way, getting more frame rate, WFICA32, which is the Citrix receiver process, is using about a couple of, you know, less than 10 percent of the CPU of the client, the VMware remote MKS process is consistently above 10. So they're using a lot more CPU and on the client. four times the memory on the client. So, wow. um, you know, they need almost half a gig. We need 120, 150. You can get by with a much lower power thin client if you had to and uh, still get the same performance with the Zen desktop side of things. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. I think this makes it very clear. Thank you. Thank you.